Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragons are back. And welcome all of you to another part of Pokemon Fire Red. So in the last episode, we took down the secret base under the, pl under the gambling casino of Team Rocket. We got... Thanks for the input there. We have got the silk comb. And we went into the Pokemon Tower and found out that, that's a, that there are no ghosts in there, but ghost Pokemon! So that means ghosts are not real, but ghost Pokemon are. Well, I don't know what that actually proves, but we stopped right in the front of this. Let's move on up. Pokemon Tower. Huh, interesting. How did you get in here? Well, let's see. Down there is nothing. Moving around. Hi there, lady. You shall try us. Nate, thank you. I already have a cult that I'm attending. It's the code of not giving it. Yes, it's a great one. And yes, the last part really is silent. So, Wallapols. Goodbye, Gasly. It was not nice to see you. Well, it actually makes it incredibly easy to fight it that way. Wow, that was really fast. What a nightmare. Yes. Wanna well, turn my cult, however? No? Okay. Hi. Oh, she's a Pokemon. She's a ghastly at that. Hi there. How odd. Let me intimidate you. I actually wanted to talk to that girl. Woo! Entered the purified and protected zone. Aaron's Pokemon were fully healed. Thank you. Come, child. I've pu purified the space. You can rest here. Thanks, lady! Cleanse tag. What actually does the cleanse tag do? I think you just get attacked less if the first Pokemon in your party. Uh, where's that? Um, an item to be held by a Pokemon. That's all. It repels what Pokemon if the holder is first in the party. Yeah. I was right about that. I was good about that. Do I have anything that I can give my Pokemon? Nay, the answer is nay. Well, let's enter it yet again. Thank you. Let's fight against you down here. Zombies! Where? Not seen any zombies this far. I've seen ghosts, crazy possessed ladies, but no zombies. That's a ghost lady, not a zombie. It's not a zombie. No, 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 no. Definitely not. I know a zombie if I see one. They look like this. Yeah, that's what they look like. Also, why didn't you die? I just wanted to use tackle on you. But that would have been stupid. I'm confused. Nay, hey, Ariel, why did you actually survive that? That's stupid. And curse. Congratulations, you killed yourself. If there's no second Pokemon in the party, that was stupid. Huh? Yes, exactly. Huh? Well, let's see. I love those conversations. They always bring so much intelligent topics to the ground and uh, to the table. Um, how about next time we discuss about... Seriously. At least learn speaking. That's actually a good question. Why can some of them talk and the others don't? Does that mean the ones that can talk are possessed longer or shorter? Do they lose the ability to talk the longer they are possessed? Woo! I mean... That did not actually answer the question. Nuggets! Thank you, we're gonna... That's basically grave robbing actually. Oh my god, it's a Cubone! I mean... I know we're not gonna have it in the party, but I mean... It came to me? And I wanna have it now. I really, really wanna have that Cubone now. 
because it came of its own free accord to me and I wanna have it. It's gonna take some time. I'm gonna try to catch it with full health because otherwise I'm gonna kill it. Cha-ching, thank thee. Only took three Pokeballs. Actually a good chance there. And there's a Cubone! It rests the skull of its dad and mother on its head. When it becomes lonesome, it is sad to cry loudly. I love Cubone so much. You're not gonna get a nick... Well, actually everyone to this point got a nickname, even if I didn't use them. So you're gonna get a nickname. Well, since we're never gonna see him in action, that's Roland. Roland was transferred to Bill's PC. Thank you. So, we now have a Cubone in a party. Not like it's doing anything for us. But we have it now. Give me your all. I think you had the little thing. I think what you wanted to say is, was give me your soul. Yeah, so not not all. So yeah, tried it out a little bit. Hey, it's a haunter. Waterfall. What water waterfall? That's actually a move. Interesting. Well, whatever. Well, we now have Cubone, which makes me incredibly happy because I love Cubone. And we have defeated the haunter. Which makes me also happy. You didn't get the level up. <gasps> I think you just realized that give me your soul was actually the better word choice than give me your all. But sometimes you realize it too late. Give me blood. See? She's going for it right away. Not, not all or anything, but just blood. She's telling me directly what she wants. She's bold about it, she uses a Pokemon to force me to give it to her. This girl right there knows exactly how to pull it off. Only problem is, her Pokemon's not strong enough and probably KO'd by the moment I look back at the screen. Yes it is! But other than that, great form. And thanks for the level up. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'm laughing that. It's another ghastly, I'm gonna switch a room. Or not, no. I'm gonna try to get Ariel to level 30 and then someone else is gonna take the front. Ah, water pose! Wonderful. What are you doing? Good job here right now. Clearing out all the ghosts, get, catching Cubones, doing a bunch of that. Just a great time all around, I'd say. And another Ghastly. Can you maybe also have a Haunter? They're a little bit stronger. They make the fights more interesting, they are not KO'd with just one water pulse. I mean, there's a lot of benefits to having a Haunter, if you ask me. Angelica. Ugh. Well, she seems to be annoyed by being saved from the possession. I mean, everyone their own. If she wanted to be possessed, she could have actually just said so. And not just come up to me and tell me she had she wanted my blood. Stop cacking at me. <laughs> Cackling. Jennifer? No, it's Jennifer. Jennifer. Huh, let's intimidate you. I'm actually intimidating a ghost, which is the strange thing here. Well, the odd thing at least. Good. Instant KOs now. Just a little bit more there, Ariel. Damn! She might be brain dead, actually. Well, sorry, Jennifer. And you are? Uh, Grab. Some of them don't have interesting dialogue. Some of them actually ask for stuff. Others just make k k k k k Ghosts are stupid. One would have, th would have thought all the years of living before they became ghosts would have made it a little bit... A murder, but nay, it seems like nay. Or maybe it's just that the human brain that they try take over cannot comprehend what's happening to them, and therefore they are stupid. Something fell out. No, good. No, we're we're agreeing on that now. We're not gonna mention that thing. Nothing fell out. 
A rare candy! That's nice. I'm not gonna use that, however. Be gone, intruders! Get to hear this name. There's the ghost! The self scope. Unveiled the ghost's identity! Matterwalk! Go, Ariel. Okay, now here's the uh, interesting thing about that. And I'm gonna do this just as a showcase. Pokeball. Throw it! It will dodge always. We cannot catch that Marowak. Even if we wanted to, we cannot. Because it's a ghost! It's dead! We cannot catch something that's dead! We cannot. Wow, you actually tanked that! Impressive! To say at least, impressive! You have lots of HP. You actually have one more level than Ariel does. Which probably makes the reasoning for you become, uh, being so strong a little bit more dangerous to me. Headbutt. Ouch. Well, never mind. No ouch anywhere. And goodbye, Marowak. May you rest in pieces. And we didn't get the level up. Said the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. My Cubone? That I just caught? I'm sorry, Robert. I forgot your name already. I'm sorry. The mother's spirit was calm. It departed to the afterlife. Nice. Again, I'm sorry. However, I called you. Whoops. Okay. Um. Now, actually, it's time that we switch back over to Belladonna. Reasoning is, I really want to evolve Belladonna at least once. What do you want? Why are you here? Why do we even care about that? Move out! Yeah, I wanna stay here. I wanna be an annoying kid! And actually beat it to submission. Because I'm a black belt! Don't ask me in which category. I'm just a black belt. Yep, that belt is black. Don't know what that means for you. What else do you have? Another Zubat. Could you potentially have Pokemon that actually are useful? Like, I mean, Golbats, for example, are useful. Zubats are not that useful. Okay. Twister still doesn't deal all that much damage, so... Dragon Rage! And goodbye. That makes it a lot easier. And go there! There we go, now we're talking! There's a Pokemon that's worth fighting against! I think two Dragon Rage, however, should deal with that since Gobat probably does not have over 80 HP. And Dragon Rage, you're done. Goodbye. And that's a lot of EXP there. But not enough. Damn it! So fun. Yeah, I give up. Well, then you should leave. I'm not going to forget this. What well, What just happened? Well, how about we heal Belladonna? Just to make sure that nothing bad happens to her. Belladonna, you can start trusting me just a wee bit. I'd be happy about that. Just, just a teensy weensy little bit. This old guy marched right up to our hideout. Then he starts around ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon. So we're just talking it over as adults. You know? Talking it over. You understand me, don't you? Take my Pokemon! Well, it's coughing. Coughing has... Well, they are notorious to have a lot of HP. With 26, not so much, however. So I'm not gonna risk twist on this case and gonna use Dragon Rage one more time. Just to be safe. And level up! Level 27, wonderful. Now Belladonna is actually at the cap that the others are as well. Special defense went up, nice. And drowsy. Yeah, we can deal with that. Thank you for your strange noises that you make drowsy. They always were calming me in the nights that I was crying for help. 
quite literally. Trust is Pokedex entrance. Kinda yeah, creepy. Actually, we should try to catch some of the creepy Pokemon so that we can have some of the creepy Pokedex entry readings. Ooh, that would be a thing. Well, I defeated you. Please, no more. Hey, okay, but we're just talking it over like adults do. Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You stay out of our business. You're a stupid. You're so stupid that I had to beat the smart into you. And you're still stupid after that. Let's use that. Hey, you grew a little bit more attached to me. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. You're not saving anyone, kid. Not as long as I'm here. I may look young, but I'm 63 inside of this body. I've been in this team for so long. Back then, it wasn't even called Team Rocket. It was called... Oh... We only had enough to buy one letter back then. Good old times. My brain sometimes goes places. But better not question what happened there. Well, goodbye, Zubat. I'm also gonna switch out Belladonna after this. Reason! Dragon Rage is running out and... More important, she's confused. I don't wanna have her out there being confused. It's another Zubat. Luther, you actually have Rock Throw. So... You're probably the smartest decision here. Right now. And Rock Slide, sorry. Rock Throw would be better though. But hey, at least we have one rock type move. Goodbye, Subat. And what's the next one? A red attack. Gonna switch around as well. Because we haven't used Mr. Fluffer in quite a while. No, that's actually a lie. We have used Mr. Fluffer against Giovanni. Karate chop that red attack, please. And goodbye. The only one that we haven't showed off since would be. No, we have showed off actually everyone. So, Radicate. Um, I actually wanna use Belladonna for that, but it's risky with the Hyper Fangs. But I'm gonna try it anyway, because Belladonna has good defense. But the XP would be too nice to have for you. Dragon Rage once, and then we have to use Twister. Because we cannot, we cannot defeat him with Dragon Rage. Pretty sure it has over 40 HP at that point. Yep. Or the Twister, Hyper Fang, there it is, and... Yikes, that's a lot. And that won't be enough. It will, because we had a critical hit. How lucky did we get there? And... Yeah, sadly, still not a lot. Don't try that rocket! Don't! You're not getting away with this. Ouch, my shoulder. Mr. Fuji. You came to save me. Thank you. But I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think my heroic spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Odd? Aaron, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like to have I'd like you to have it. The Pokey Flute from Mr. Fuji. Upon hearing the Pokey Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. I don't know what it means by that. There it is. Seriously, no clue what it could mean by that. Sleeping obstacles, Pokemon. No plan. Sorry, Mr. Fuji, you placed me in front of a riddle that I cannot solve. So now that we've done this, the question is, where are we gonna head off next to? Let's take a look at the map. Something we haven't done. At any point in this game, do I even have the map? I somehow have to think that we don't have the map. 
Nay, we forgot to get the map. Whoops. Hopla. Well, I did a goof. So, but I know the layout of the map, but I don't know where the next badge would be in order. Which means, I don't know. Let's just go down here and start going that way. Why not? Bum, ba -dum. North to Lavender Town. Good. Well, I can go through here and we can go up here. Hi there. My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this gem. I don't need it anymore. Thank you, little girl. TM27 is a move called Return. If you treat your Pokemon good, it will return your love by working its hardest in battle. That's so nice. It's really nice. I'm not gonna use that, however, but it's still nice. So who's up front at the moment? I think it was Ariel. No, it's Belladonna. Well, we're gonna fight against some water-type Pokemon on this bridge. Uh, well, not bridge, whatever it is. So Nairobi would make the most sense, actually, so... Yeah, I got a bite here. Bit by Pinky. Won't let go of it. But I got it. Well, Goldeen, you're in. And now I imagine this guy holding the Goldeen on his finger. Let's see. Well, he basically takes the Goldeen and flays it, flays it around while he made it. He dipped it into the water and then flayed it around. Water sports. Hey, if it works, it works. And what else do we have? Poliwag. A little bit of variation there. I was concerned that you only had three Goldeens. Which could have very well been the case. <sighs> Uh, wake up, Belladonna! You're taking a bu bubble bath at the moment. So that's not gonna help you by waking with waking up. Wake up, Belladonna! I could use the Poke Flute. I know that. I know that. But we're gonna get hypnosis just again. So. Stop it! I'm still confused. Why is it called double slap but you can attack up to five times? Why is it called double kick and you can attack only twice? Why can't I wake up? A few things are not working out right here. Well, goodbye, Polly Wag. Or. It's gonna take some time. Oh no, it's over with two slaps actually. Polly Wag! Annoying! Stupid! Thank you! Another gold team, that may be easier. Even though, no. You cannot put me to sleep, you can do something else that's really annoying. But you're not doing it, you're also gonna use water sports because I'm using so many electro type moves. Smart! Or stupid. Lots of things. Thanks for that level up now. And... Yeah, okay. We can live with that level up. Fisherman Ned. <laughs> Just a small fry. Let go. Well, I didn't... I don't think we helped him with his Goldeen problem. Hi there! Be patient. Fishing is a winning game. <gasps> Sorry. You also can fall asleep while fishing. But look at this tentacle that, that I have. Isn't it cool? Tentacle actually is a great Pokemon as well. If you evolve it into Tentacruel. And originally I was thinking about getting one, but then I decided to get a Nidoking King in this party as well, so therefore. It would make much sense to have a Tentacruel as well. Because then I would have yet another poison type. And with Nairobi, then would be three poison types, which would be super redundant. 
so yeah, I decided against that Goldeen yet again. Hey, bye. I'm thinking around what other water type Pokemon are there in the game actually. I mean, they could have the evolutions of them. That would be other water type Pokemon, but I mean, after all, I mean, are you as one? Goldeen, Poliwag, Carpador, Magikarp, sorry. What else there? In this generation only, not in general. In general there is a lot more. I don't remember so many Pokemon from the first generation right off my, off my head. So that makes it a little bit... No, 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 no. Super Potion is what I want. Makes it a little bit harder to try to remember that thing. Thank you. Anything down here? Nay. Anything over there? No. Hi. The Fishing Fool versus Pokemon Kid. Did you give yourself the name Fishing Fool and did you just call me Pokemon Kid? Dude, I'm not okay with that. I'm... no, I'm not okay with that. That makes me actually upset. Don't call me Pokemon Kid. That's... no. But don't do that. You're gonna feel my dragon rage for that. See? See what it got you? That you called me Pokemon Kid? Just a bit of pain and hurt. Fisherman Hank. Touch too much. I don't like Hank. Hank, you're weird. You're a weirdo. Okay, we're gonna stop on this platform right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And hope to see all of you in the next part of Pokemon Fire Red. So, bye!